right, so when we first got these, they were delivered around February or March. I don't have a garage, and the snow was on the ground at the time. So we took them over to our good friends at Attitude Performance. If you live in the Chicagoland area, want some work done on your Bronco, this is probably one of the better shops to go to. Highly recommend them. Matt and his crew are really good. So uh, one of the things here, you see these little magnets on the doors here. They're looking a little flimsy. I did buy some longer magnets off Amazon. I'll try to put a link down in the description below. But uh, I did recommend that too because that will help be consistent with the door. Because if those magnets slide off, the thing won't operate correctly. So just know that that's another idea I got from somebody off of uh, Bronco 6G. Just want to share. Rock slide engineering. So we've had these on for probably eight months now. So some of the things that uh, you'll notice, and I wanted to wait till I use these before I did a review, is that when these things, these steps go back in, you know, I don't know if you can see it in the angle, but see how it's recessed here? But if you go down here to the other end, it's actually sticking out. Now, now you're supposed to pull back on it. It's like it doesn't want to sit in there all the way. Yeah, you see still, it's out a little bit there, which is not a huge deal because if a rock hits it, it's just going to push it up, you know, and it will push up. So it's not a huge issue, but it's just something that could probably be improved. So, this is on both sides. Now on the passenger side, you can hear a clink. And I'm not the only person I've met that had these that has that issue. Uh, up at the Wisconsin Supercell, ran into a gentleman, hit a Eruption Green Bronco, and his did the same thing, except his clinked on the driver's side real bad, whereas mine's mostly on the passenger side. But both sides, it doesn't go up completely even. You know, for the money these things cost, I think that should be something that maybe it's just because the legs aren't we are a little weaker. I don't know because they're aluminum. But yeah, it's definitely something that can be approved. Upon. As you can see on the passenger side, it is recessed more up here towards the front of the vehicle. Not quite as much in the back, but it's not sticking out like the other one was. As you can see, it comes down pretty good. Now keep in mind, these, these are great. They work great, especially if you have you know, older people, people with less mobility. Uh, the main reason I wanted these because my mother and her husband, they don't quite as have as much mobility. Now, you heard that clink? That's what I'm talking about. So, we'll see if we can do that again. All right, here we go. Listen. Yeah, hear that metal to metal sound? That's what I was referring to as far as the weird sound. But like I said, overall, these work really good. Now, we did get the lights, which I don't regret, you know, because it's dark. If you're, unless you're in the city, it can be hard to see it. We also got the additional skid plate, which I think is a must. Why even buy these unless you just don't plan on off-roading at all? You can probably get cheaper steps if you're not worried about that. So... I definitely recommend getting the extra skid. But uh, these things are quite beefy. You know, see all kinds of videos. Bronc Buster has these on his. Several other ones. And they've been on the Rubicon Trail. And they've rested their body on the side of those things. So I don't have any doubts in the, their ability to support the Bronco. Or the way of the Bronco. But yeah, I think that uh, that one little flaw, I think, with the... Steps not recessing all the way up and then sometimes hitting it. And that may not be something that's to be worried too much about. So, you know, I hate to make a big deal out of it because it's really not. But it's just something I think people should know. Would it keep me from buying it again? No. Absolutely not. I'd still buy this thing, buy them again. I think it's a great addition to the Bronco. Uh, and I think most people that own them would probably agree. You know, so... I always be mindful of that, but just want to give a complete, honest review. Like I said, would I buy it again? Absolutely. So, want to make sure you kind of note that. 
But yeah, I think they look really good. Happy that I got them. Definitely uh, would recommend them to others. You know, like I said, they may not be for everybody. You can always turn it off. So I did get the door deletes, uh, which is down here. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, there it is. So you just push that button. Notice the door's still open. Comes up. You go back here and push it again. You come back out. So, you know, and like I said, you can turn this off right here. And I may upgrade that switch because I know there's one I bought off Amazon. A guy on the Bronco 6G showed me. It looks a lot better. I'll give you an idea of what it looks like. You know, when they're all the way down. As you can see, this is a lifted Bronco. And that cuts that step up in half. You know, so you can definitely, uh, makes a huge difference in trying to get into a Bronco, especially with somebody who's got disabilities. So definitely, uh, you can see it right here. So it's about, like I said, it cuts that distance to get up in there in half. So that's the most important thing. Well, anyway, I hope you guys like and subscribe. I don't want to ramble on too long. But I figured, you know, some of you guys have been asking for this and want to get it done, knocked out of the way. Uh, filming this right before we take off to Texas for Thanksgiving. So I want to wish everybody a safe and happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy time with your families, your loved ones. And, uh, you know, we'll see you on the, on the flip side. Take it easy, guys.